is part of this plan. I, I don't have the exact figure, unfortunately. Um, I just have the amount of money that we're actually paying as a as a whole to, to just comply with the tax rate. Hey, Rob, show them those two books. Oh, if you are interested in uh, reading reading more about it, there are really two great books out right now. Uh, one is called Fair Tax, The Truth, Answering the Critics. This was written by Neil Bortz and Congressman John Linder. Um, John Linder's kind of, he's kind of the congressional father of the fair tax, like Dick Army was for the flat tax. And this is, this is actually sort of a second edition. There's an, there's an additional book. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a white fair tax book. And it's, if you go to, if you go to my resources page, both, both of these books are, are, are on there. The second book is by uh, Ken Hoagland. He's a national spokesperson for the fair tax. And it's called The Fair Tax Solution. And this book is also on my website. And so if you're interested in, you want to get in the weeds and talk about things like charitable giving and, and uh, churches and things like that, th these are the books, these are the books for you. Michael Reagan is also a oh. spokesman for the book. Yeah, he's actually kind of the, the, the national, he's kind of the national face for the fair tax right now. Michael Reagan uh, is if this Ronald Reagan's son. If this were to pass Congress, would Obama veto it? Huh. That's a good question. Uh, I, I would probably say um, I would probably say yes. He has he actually has written online. Uh, you can actually find his writings about the fair tax, and his argument is that it, it unfairly taxes the poor. He he obviously hasn't heard my presentation. <laughs> I'll get to him. I'll get to him later. Well, yeah, yeah, but that's his main argument against it, and a lot of people will 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 make that argument against the fair tax. They say, "Oh, twenty three percent on everything. You're going to tax a poor person twenty three percent? No, there's a prebate. That's why it's there, and that's you know, uh, you know, that that that's why that's why it's there. But remember, it is a fair tax, so we all get the prebate, even if we're not poor, but fair." No. Let's go back. Let's go back. <laughs> now, all of this is on your web page, too, correct? Yes, you can get all of this information from my website. Okay. Yeah, who said that? Yeah, okay. If, if, you're, if you're a couple, if you spend up to $21,660 over the year, you get all of that tax money that you pay it back, which is uh, $4,982. So in other words, if you spend $21,660 every year, tax at 23%, the taxes you would pay on this amount of money would be $4,982. Is it you made or spent? Spent. Remember, this is a... Oh, so if you're a multi-made and you just keep it under twenty-one six, you you're good. Well, yes, but you yes, that's that is true. But I, I mean, I don't know any multimillionaires that spend twenty one six. And they may buying used junk. They buy their Cadillacs by the pound. They don't buy them. That they they need to buy their money by how much they keep, not how much they make. Fair enough. But um, does that answer your does that answer your question? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. How about insurance premiums like health insurance? Yeah, that's another weed question. Uh, I, yeah, I, honestly, um, I, I would say, uh, gosh, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to speculate. You're getting in a lot of money. Now. Yeah, you, you are. I mean, um, I'm, I, I hope I'm trying to convey the point. I get your uh, point. Okay, okay, good. But there's a lot and, of and that, yeah, outside stuff that, that it's going to affect it. This is true. They're going to police the health care, you know. That. Well, yeah, but but remember my analogy of the apples. Okay. Any other? Uh, I'm concerned about the poverty level figures. Well, you're going to have to take it up with the government because we didn't come up with those. That's. Right, but that can vary all the time. Well, it does vary all the time. They come out with. I mean, out of line. Yes, but they come out of this with this chart every year. This is the two thousand. I use the two thousand nine version, but the government determines determines the poverty level. That passes. That'll be a big factor. Yes, absolutely. The organization they use in community development block grant money and everything. Yeah, I mean this this that's just like you see on a performance line percent, that's crap. Yeah. So 
but, but the, the point of the matter is we had to get our numbers. We had to define poverty somehow. And well, I'm not just saying that's, that's going to be an issue. Get to find out by coming to my house. <laughs> <laughs> you can always join the ranks if you really want to go to that. You know, if yeah. you really want to not pay taxes, I guess we can all go to that level. Um, but uh, yeah. but we don't do that. Now. But we don't do that now. I mean, you, you don't have to spend that level. Yeah, but but remember, you could do that now if you don't want to pay taxes, and and we don't we don't do that. You know, we all work hard because. Right. Opportunity in America gives us purpose, and 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 we, and, you know. Give us a couple more years, we'll all be in the poverty. <laughs> I, I hope that's not true. <laughs> He's got two years left. Well, guys, thank you very much uh, for letting me come out here and and give the presentation. You guys have been a great a great audience. Head over to the website, email me, talk to Angie, call us, and we we'd love to hear from you. But thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm a little confused about the 2030 still. When you go pay for something, is it 23 percent or is it 30 percent? When you go to pay for something, it, you're paying 30 percent of what you bought. Correct. Plus your state tax, right? Yeah. Yes, plus your state tax. Wow. But you have. That's pretty wild, isn't it? But you have your whole paycheck. Oh, I understand that. Oh, okay. No, I'm sure up all the taxes we're paying now. No, 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 no. Under the fair tax, you have your whole paycheck. The state of well, I mean, it yeah. seems like 23 30 seems like a lot, but we have no <laughs> idea if you do to add them up how much well, that is. And, and remember, if we shrink the size of government, that rate goes down because we're just trying to fund the government. Now, okay, let me ask you, let me ask you this. What's your tax rate right now? What's my tax rate? Yeah. Well, what, what that all abolishes is hard to figure that. But wait, but what, under our current income tax, what's your tax rate? What's what's your tax rate? Do, but do you see what I'm saying? Is you 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 you're looking at the figure of thirty percent and you're saying, oh my gosh! But you don't even know what your tax rate well, you're paying. You're paying about sixty percent of your income on that back. It depends. It depends. What you spend. Yeah. Dollars. yeah. But do you, do you see my point is that it's yeah. visible to you. Yeah. It's finally visible. Right now, you don't even know what the cost of government is. You don't know what your share. You know what that makes that twenty thousand dollar car worth? Say again. The $20,000 new car, you know what you're going to pay for that thing? You will pay 30%. But if you buy, what if you buy it used? Yeah, they're trying to make more production on new car than that. So, and, and, this is, and this is the, and this is my, this is the, this is the argument. You have to pay taxes somehow. You have to pay it. And, well, there, yeah, there's, there's. I'll tell you another one too. It would be small, very small businesses like mine. Okay. That's really going to get them in trouble because they're going to have all this 30% taxes that they collect from the customers <laughs> in their account. Yeah. I have a hard time trying to keep it straight with the 6% income tax statewide, sure. let alone 36%. But you get paid. I understand that, but you're dealing with figures in your checkbook. So sure. You now you showed a lot more money in there than you actually got. Okay. When it comes time to pay the taxes in the quarter or whatever, your law will be in big trouble. I mean, it's. I mean, it's, if you're just, you're just, yeah, you're just taking thirty percent of what you. Thirty percent. I'm talking small business here. I'm not talking about million dollar business a year. Sure. Don't be. But it, I mean, if you're collecting six percent, if you're collecting six percent now. Yeah. Then add another thirty to that. Add another twenty-four. I mean, like, small businesses is going to be in trouble because they, you know, every month. They're looking at what they have and what they can spend. Well, I mean, but if you, I mean, if you keep track of that now, you, there's no reason you can't keep track. I mean, I have a small business. Well, I don't yeah, have any problem with it. You're talking ten thousand dollar average credit card too. Okay, but but we're not. Yeah. That's that's what, what kind of responsibility American people have today. Well, but this is. I think you're kind of getting off subject here well, they, a little they bit. Can't I mean, their minds are on the same. Well, but this. This would help them because you're untaxing savings. You are letting them take their whole their whole paycheck home. Everything that they make, everything that they earn, they can do. They can say, okay, you know what? I'm going to take a chunk of this, 10%, well, put, it the, put it in the put in the bank. That's correct. But you've got an you've got an opportunity here under a fair tax. Can I make one comment? 